Ben from Red Gate Lodge and I am here with something a little bit special tonight. I've been given the keys to three Focus RSs from Red Gate Lodge's private collection. I've got the Mark 1, Gary's got the Mark 2, Sam's got the Mark 3 and we've got a little history lesson for you all. Most of Ford's iconic models wear that RS badge, which of course stands for Rally Sport. It's given to mainly production models, which have been elevated to greatness by Ford's motorsport department and can be traced all the way back to 1970 and the Escort RS 1600, which was the first to wear the RS badge. Since 1970, everything from Capri, Sierra, Fiesta, Escort have all worn the RS badge. So even the RS200, which was a four-wheel drive, mid-engine, Group B rally monster, which Ford made as part of the FIA homologation regulations for the World Rally Championship. So before Ford started work on the Focus RS, the RS badge was last seen on the RS Cosworth, which is the famous Escort Cosworth with the huge tail fin, which everyone will remember from the 90s. That finished production in 1996. So Ford started production on the Mark 1 Focus in October 2002, and it ran until November 2003. Ford produced 4,501 Focus Mark 1 RSs, uh, 2,147 made their way to UK shores. So the Mark 1 Focus RS wasn't a money-making exercise for Ford. A team of 60 engineers spent the best part of two years developing the car and each one was sold at a loss. That was thanks in no small part to the fact that the engineers decided that only 30% of the original parts were deemed acceptable to be used in the Focus RS. So 70% of the car was completely developed specifically for this car. So the Focus Mark 1 RS is only available in Ford's beautiful Imperial Blue. This one isn't for sale, uh, but if you were looking to buy one now, a good example is easily gonna be cost you north of £20,000, um, this Mark 1 RS is definitely, definitely a modern classic. So, moving on from the Mark 1 Focus RS, we uh, can now show you the Mark 2 Focus RS. This particular model started production in 2009 and ran till 2011. In that time, Ford produced 11,500 models. But unlike the Mark 1 Focus RS, this particular car came in three different colours. So when this car was actually physically launched, it was actually the most powerful front wheel drive hot hatch that money could buy. Had 301 brake horsepower through the front wheels which Ford did have a few issues with the Mark 1 in terms of torque steer. So what Ford did was a brilliant and genius idea. They kept with the front wheel drive, they mixed it with the Quave Diff as you got on the Mark 1, but added something revolutionary called a Revo knuckle. I cannot mention this car without talking what's under the bonnet. So the, the engine itself actually traces its roots back to Volvo. But then it was also used in the Mark II Focus ST. It's a 2.5 litre, five cylinder, turbocharged engine, producing 301 brake horsepower. But it's not just an ST turned up to 10. This particular engine, they've added the turbo, there's different intercooler, there's the pistons, the cam casing, everything is actually different to what you'd actually get on the normal ST. Prices of the Focus of Mark II RS started around about £27,000 back in 2009. The car was available with a few optional extras. You had Lux Pack 
One, which came with climate control, auto lights and wipers and dab radio. You then could add Lux Pack 2, which then had the sat nav and the reversing camera. This particular model also has the optional extra dynamic seats, which are now highly sought after for this particular car. Uh, famous for the, the car itself compared to the Mark 1 Focus RS, this engine is actually a 2.55 cylinder, which is well renowned. 301 brake horsepower, 440 meters of torque, which propelled the car from 0 to 60 at around 5.9 seconds in honor of a top speed of 163 miles an hour. As with all the other RSs, this is now becoming a modern classic. Um, if you can get your hands on one of these now, I do recommend you can buy it. They are actually going up in value quite rapidly as things stand at the present. Uh, the looks alone, this is why this is my favourite RS Focus. We've had Ben talking about the Mark 1 RS, we've had Gary giving his opinion on the Mark 2. Now, now for me to take you through the Mark 3 RS. So I'm here with the Ford Focus Mark 3 RS. Now finished in this beautiful night was blue, equipped with the four cylinder 2.3 litre petrol engine producing 346 brake horsepower, might add, to all four wheels which is obviously a little bit of an involvement from the Mark 1 and the Mark 2. It really is a fantastic car. Now this particular model is a 2018. The 4 Mark 3 RS did come out 2015 and ran right through until 2018. So much like the Mark 2, the Mark 3 has the iconic looking presence, the large rear spoiler, the very big front open-ended front grills as well, just gives the car lots of breathing, lots of cool there. Now it really is a fantastic looking car as we've covered and of course when Ford first brought out the Mark III it was a standalone car. Now they then brought out the options pack which gave you a few dark black touches around the car and of course that then did come with the um, Quiff limited slip differential as well. Again from there later in life for the Mark III Ford did bring out a few different editions. They brought out a red edition again finished in red and of course the Heritage Edition. Now the Heritage Edition was just limited to 50 units, so just 50 cars were made, finished in a beautiful orange. Again, they were equipped with the Monsoon pack as well, producing 375 brake horsepower, and obviously finished with those forged alloy wheels, and again, just an absolutely beautiful car. Again, the Mark III Focus does follow on very nicely from both the Mark I and the Mark II. Both were supplied with the Brembo brake calipers. Both had race inspired seats, the Mark 1 with Sparkle seats, the Mark 2 obviously with the Recaros. This Mark 3 does have the Recaros in as well. Again, fantastic addition. Now what the older Ford fans might really appreciate about the Mark 3 is that the cylinder head was made by Cosworth. So inside this Mark III RS, it really is a pleasurable experience to be. So we've got the Recaro seats that I mentioned again, real hard shelled back seats, nice and comfortable, very, very rally style inspired. So obviously it pays homage to the, to the Mark I and the rally era from where the RS gets its name from. Inside, it has all the mod cons you'd expect from a modern car. So you have the full color touchscreen, navigation, dab radio, along with CD player as well. You also have your Bluetooth. And of course it does come with a full color reverse camera. Now, not just to mention that, you have your basics, your dual zone glamour control with air conditioning. You also benefit from the heated steering wheel as well, so that's a fantastic option from those cold winter mornings. And again, just the touches of the RS everywhere through the centre console on the steering wheel. There's little highlights just to remind you what sort of car you really are in. So unlike the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 RS, which are in Red Gate Lodge's private collection, this particular Mark 3 RS is for sale here at Red Gate Lodge. So for more information on this particular model, give one of our sales, sales team a call or visit our website, redgatelodge.co.uk. I've got to say, out of the three, this one's my favorite.